Parparah is the Chachma, which is one of the traditional commentaries on the Kutimara. What about the first time? We already know about the first Hastara, right? You got into this place where you're justifying, rationalizing, whatever it is. Nice to look ahead to. It's become permitted for me. But if, if before that, I was in this place of some type of good situation, and then I did, I did the Avira the first time, because I have to do it the first time, and then only after I repeat it, does it become into the situation of nice look ahead to. How did I do the Avera in the first place? What was going on in that place? Think about that thing now in your mind, that thing that you, that you do, that you can't stop, and you've decided it's okay. How did I do it in the first place? Right? So listen to what he says. It's so good, it's so sweet. The first time a person sins is not because God or the Torah are concealed from him, but because he fails to recognize his own aspect of Malchus, that he can control himself rule over his own evil inclination and withstand temptation. The first time, I didn't recognize my own power of Malchus. My own power to, what's Malchus? Is to stand and lead with authority. Even over myself, going back to the first level, serve a base do I have my own house in control? Right? I decided already that my Malchus wasn't powerful enough. Fitting the entire flow of the Torah, right? You didn't recognize your own Malchus. You didn't do Malchus properly. And that pulled you down. And now you're in a situation of Arvashana where you get yourself into one Hastara, one concealment. Right? Then you keep going, you get into the second concealment. And it's all a flow. But it begins with, it begins with us not recognizing this, you know? You have to have maybe this, uh, there's a concept called Gaiva de Kedusha. Holy arrogance. Sometimes you have to say, this type of behavior is beneath a person like me. Right? That's called holy arrogance. Right? But maybe from the Lashon that we're learning over here, you would say, I'm not going to do that. I'm a Melech. I'm a Malka. I have authority. I have power. And there's no way I'm giving in to this, this, this Yetzirah Yitzhar, that I have. Not a chance. Right? So this is the first thing. We have to know our own Koyach and know our own power. Know that we can do it.